Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. We thank you so much for joining us in this second segment of the news. Mr. Ako John Ako, a political analysis our guest tonight, sir. Good evening. Thank you so much for joining us tonight on Talking Point. Yeah, Mimi, the pleasure is mine being with you once more to talk issues affecting Cameroon. Precisely academics, the yeah. educational sector. But before we come to that, I saw your reaction when we saw the tribute uh, paid uh, uh, Kofi Annan who died last weekend. What do you have to say about this uh, diplomat and somebody described as an example to many? Yeah, uh, in fact, when I received the news on social media and say or WhatsApp, I, in fact, I was shocked because I've not heard in recent times that Kofi Annan was sick. So when I received the message, it's like I was not sure even to comment on it. I could not. I needed to verify from to a second sure. source to be sure that this is what is happening mm -hmm. to an African some of us respect most. In fact, added to Kofi Annan, a lot of Africans that have made a mark in the international scene, I compare him to the ranks of Nelson Mandela, the Thomas Sankana, the Kwame Nkrumah, still from the same country. And heading an organization, we know what Kofi Annan has been out to. Remember, at the early start of the Cameroon crisis, Kofi Annan, in his own personal capacity, offered his good offices that if Cameroon can handle these issues internally, the he will, crisis. the Anglophone crisis internally, he will act as a mediator. But it all fell on deft and abdomen ears from the Cameroon government, thinking that they will resolve. I just wish that wheresoever his soul is resting, mm -hmm. that peace will come to Cameroon, peace will come to Africa, and why not the world at large, owing to the fact that he has been a statement for a, an international body. We equally hope that those of us who are living with emulate uh, a, a figure and equally copy some examples, its lessons. In fact, I remember when we equally look at the video that Kofi Annan was a giant out of the International Court of Justice ruling on Cameroon, he succeeded to convince Obasanjo and Paul Bia that peace is better than war and that the Green Tree Agreement, it is a roadmap for peace between Cameroon and Nigeria, rather than Cameroon depending on arms and Nigeria equally on military force over Bakasi. But now, in fact, I will tell you that it is not the same when it's happening to one country. Mm -hmm. We prefer arms than peace. Arms than peace, like yeah. the situation that we can see in the two Anglophone regions of Cameroon. The Minister of Territorial Administration was actually speaking to the people of the Northwest region of Cameroon, calling on those that he considered as taking refuge in the bushes to drop their arms. It is coming just a few days to back to school for the year 2018-2019. Now, the uncertainty is whether classes will resume. What do you have to say about the atmosphere that is reigning in the both uh, Anglophone regions of Cameroon and this notion of school resumption? Yeah, we, I believe we are not talking again about school resumption. Classes have been, we wrote the GCE and the statistics given by the state was that there is a general improvement from the situation last year mm -hmm. and if we should take to it nobody ahead of students or school pupils being attacked i believe it is positive too but one reason remains that uh, security is more in the cities than it is in the rural areas and if we have to talk of schools it is the fear is the fear for peace not the fear for school i mean I, I think the right word that we should use is effective school resumption good if we talk of school. effective school resumption is what Cameroon should be strategizing. But if we have to strategize, remember, before even, uh, I mean, after the members of the consortium were arrested, a lot of points were listed to the government to bring peace to the area. You need to demilitarize the zone. We have not seen these people, they brandish terrorists, which we know, really, under what uh, offices they are acting. They have never attacked students. They have never killed we have not seen them assassinate students or stopping them from going to classes. So the problem is parents are afraid in the presence of military armors and other shootings to send their children out but, of the house. The government has met parents to understand that the security forces are there to guarantee the safety of students and pupils that are going to school. Yeah, it is, it is, it is a rhetoric. When you see equally that the same military has been charged for burning down homes and killing some parents on stray bullets and even going to people's houses at 3 a.m. in the morning to search for what they call terrorists. And in the absence of that, those some families have been victims. A lot of these don't even live in the villages. If we have effective classes, some people live in the bushes. Some people prefer that their security is more in the bush than it is at home because they see within their village or their town the security, armors and guns, flying bullets left and right. How do you assure that? 
the willingness, we can just see the gesture of the SDF party thinking that the first primary objective is to bring those who are out of the country, give them the confidence that they can come back to their villages. But they are not still saying that when you go to places like Bangem. I don't think people are believing of coming back. If you go to villages like Kembo, it is another story. You need to get to Kwakwa and even at the Banga Bakunus. There were people believing that every day the military is on the same trench trying to pinpoint those who are beside the house. The long living organisms you find around are birds, dogs, and in fact, poultry farming. I, it, it becomes funny. And we are talking of effective classes. I'm telling you that no Anglophone Cameroonian, nobody within these two Cameroons knows education and its value than English people. And I will tell you that the best education we have in Cameroon, it is not just Gensé, but it's the best system of academics. And many in Boya, Douala, lives and studied in, I mean in Douala, Yaoundé, live to study in Bameda and Boya. And we know that very well. How can you tell an Englishman the value of education? The circumstances and the environment are not suitable for children to leave their homes. A father would prefer his child to be home than to go to school, knowing very well that a bullet may miss the target mm -hmm. and instead take one of a, a wife or the, the child. The best system of education with standard has been put to question lately, uh, since, especially since the crisis escalated. Now, talking about back to school, what can really be done to ensure that back to school is effective in the two different regions of Cameroon? Uh, it will be really sad to keep on repeating what we have said in the past. I believe uh, before the postponement of the uh, Cardinal Toomey's initiative, I said it was a step towards back to school because one of the things Southern Cameroonians are waiting to listen or to get is effective dialogue. If the state has to call for effective dialogue, release all those who have been captured during the crisis, call up the military, send them back to their barracks. I believe there will be an intention that something positive is about to happen. We don't need to get behind corners to tell people why the presence of the military, the continuous kidnapping and what I call, they call it arrest of unknown persons within their homes, within their villages, back to prison, tension the environment that any young man seen in the village within the age of 15, 20, 25 should be caught and sent to Yaoundé on an unknown destination. It's embarrassing. You can't tell parents to bring their children to this type of environment. And again, we realize that Within the schools, how many schools are there? Some privately out schools and the conduct of some principals. I'm shocked to tell you that by the 10th of August, some high schools in Douala, uh, public high schools will tell you that their classes are already full. There's no other uh, space to recruit. And we can't get in new the of students, students from, from, from the two English regions. And I will equally come to tell you that more of those who run private education will tell you that the English region can continue being in crisis so that they can equally get a return from those who are coming in to register. But it is, again, I said it is sad to know that in public schools today, those who don't have the means can register their children there. They will instead prefer to get to private education, which we know. Most of these private education or private schools, institutions, public and private, secondary and primary, that has simply been shut down by the ministry in Cameroon. Recently, we saw the, uh, the, the outing of the ministers of secondary education and that of basic education uh, closing the doors of uh, several institutions over illegality. What do you have to say about that? Given that this measure is taken on a yearly basis, there seems to be a problem at the level of follow-up. Yeah, it's not a matter of follow-up because when you see the schools that are closed this year were not the ones that were closed last year, meaning the same schools have been there before even last year. A lot of it is that in Cameroon we have a problem with managing institutions because the people we put at certain positions are not really qualified. In fact, we don't have a system of detecting. We have passed to what they call an, a, a, a local or traditional map. You mean at the level of the government? I mean the, the government, the, the digitalization, what we call e e-management, meaning every school is capable of having a code, so that at the level of the central administration, we are capable of knowing who is operating where. We don't need to move behind to know which school is located in Dogoti, which one is at Bepana, which one is at a source or wheresoever Mangye, but we need at the level of the we office to, to, digital. to digital. That is what, when there's a digitalized, uh, digitalized system, I believe Even Cameroon will do much to, Thank to you get so us much. to a more better Thank you option. so much, Mr. Mr. Ako John. Ako for joining us tonight on Talking Point. We hope to have you some other time again. Yeah, the pleasure is mine. I will the always pleasure. be at your the pleasure is us as well to our viewers. It was our pleasure as well having with us in this edition of the Prime Time Newscast on Equinox Television.